Hi guys, welcome back. We're gonna Hi, start. good evening. <laughs> good evening, Amirkar. Yeah. How's it going? How are you? Really good so far. Thank All right. you. Great. Thanks. How about you? I had a beautiful vacation. Nice. We're gonna be talking about that this class. So I'm so Yay. excited to hear you to hear you all talking about your vacation. Yes. <laughs> yes. Good, Good evening. evening. Good evening, Marjorie. Good evening, Diego. Good evening, Dina. Oh, Eric is joining us too. <laughs> nice. We're about to start, so get ready. Okay. <clears throat> okay. What about you, teacher? How was your vacation? Really nice. Really nice. Really Thank nice. you for asking. Yes. Did you I go to the beach? No, not at all. <laughs> not no. this year. <laughs> Sadly. Did you visit your, uh, your family? Yes, yes, my family. Really? Thank you. Yes, oh. my grandma, actually. Ah. Yes. Fantastic. Now that we can do it, we need to do it. We must do it. Okay. Let's see. I'm writing some of your names for a following activity. That's why I look kind of busy. Let's see. And Diego. Okay. Okay. Hello, hello, everybody. How are you tonight? <laughs> Okay. Oh, I'm here. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, I hope that you really had a very good vacation because um, I, I I was doing like a comparison last year with the with the with the twenty twenties, and we have a really kind of, well. It was kind of different because we were still in quarantine. Don't you remember? <laughs> yes, I can see Marjorie saying, yes, I remember it. I do remember it. Let's see. Good evening, Michelle. Good evening, teacher. Nice. Perfect. Okay. To start, as I told you before, we were going to share with the class. With, well, we are going to share everybody with our partners, with the class, with everybody. How was our vacation? So let me see. Oh, you were not supposed to see that yet. <laughs> Okay, so welcome back, everybody. We are going to have a very special class today. Oh. So we're going to be practicing oh, about our vacations, and we are going to be sharing with a partner and also with the class. So I hope you guys are ready. Okay. To start, what did you do during your vacations? And here we have some questions that can help us to have an idea. And um, instead of just reading them, I'm gonna share it with you in the chat. You can also have them. And the, the idea is, oh, or also as a mirror card, you can take a photo of it. That's a nice idea. Let's see, 
I'm supposed to do this. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna share it with you. But before starting to practice, we are gonna pronounce each of the sentences. So, I don't know if you guys can see it in the chat. Did you guys have it? Okay, nice, thank you. Yay, more people is joining us. Awesome, good evening. <laughs> nice, okay. So, uh, let's see. We have here some of the questions that you can ask to somebody if you want to know about the vacation of someone. So, we can start with these questions. We also have the translation here, but we are going to start just with the pronunciation in English. So, to start, if you want to say it out loud in, in your home, being muted, don't worry at all. <laughs> no worries and you can do it so don't worry just I, I just need you guys to practice so I'm gonna say it first and then you can say it at home so uh, this is the first one it says what did you do for vacation now you need to say it what did you do for vacation try to to say it as thinking that you are asking this question to somebody else. So what did you do for vacation? Now the next one, what was your favorite part about your vacation? Because you could do many things, but you probably one of those things was the most important in your trip or travel. Oh, Marjorie, did you stay at home? Nice, I did it too. <laughs> I just want to visit some of my family, some of my relatives. So yeah, it was a nice vacation though. <laughs> now the third one, how long were you on vacation? How long were you on vacation? If you stayed at home, this last vacation, don't worry. You can uh, start talking about some activities that you did at home. Now the next one, how did you go with? Oh no, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Who did you go with? <laughs> Who? Tienes que mencionar algunas personas. And this, the next one is related to the last one. Did you go with your family, friends, relatives, wife, boyfriend, etc.? Be creative. Now, let's see. Everybody has, everybody have these questions? Let's see, I'm gonna give some few seconds more. If you want to take a picture of it. Okay, now how we can reply to, to the last questions and we have the answers. You can be creative if you didn't do anything of this, don't worry. Uh, the idea is to talk, to speak. So if you didn't do that much staying at home, you can try at least to use some of these answers just to practice. Because in the future you can do some of this 
and you would like to know how to say it. So it would be a good practicing. So here in the answers, we have some of the options. Camping, camping, hiking too, hiking, backpacking. A la gente que le gusta pueblear, <laughs> también. Water skiing. Also swimming, if you went to a water park or something like that, if you went to the beach. Also, visiting museums. Staying in a hotel or hostel. Shopping, mm. going shopping. Oh. Okay, you can take a picture of it. And also, I'm gonna put this on the chat. Here are some, are some of the options that you can take in account when you are talking with your partner. So, now that we have some of the questions, some of the answers, so a little bit of everything, we're gonna do, oh, and we have a lot of people connected. Nice. We're gonna do some breakout rooms. Everybody's gonna be with two more people. So I hope you guys are ready to talk. So, Let's start. This is going to be really randomly. <laughs> mm. We are about 18. Let's see. 19. Nice. Okay. Just give me a sec. Wow, we have here six rooms. Nice. Okay, guys, uh, I'm going to say this in Spanish because uh, I want that everybody know what we are supposed to do. So, uh, lo que vamos a hacer, estaremos en breakout rooms y vamos a estar platicando con dos personas más. Algunos de ustedes ya vieron eh, lo de las preguntas, ya vimos cómo responder. Yo sé que no todos salimos, estamos en una situación que pues no podemos salir con libertad, pero sin embargo la idea es practicar, platicar entre nosotros y si no hicimos mucho afuera podemos mencionar algo de acá de casa o también podemos mencionar algo de los ejemplos la idea es platicar chicos así que 3, 2, 1 breakout rooms Let's see. Oh, Romulo, you don't have a room yet. I'm gonna sign you to the room number one. Why not? Oh, Marjorie, are you having some connection problems? Do you want me to assign you to another room? I think I can do that. I think you were assigned to the room number five. I'm gonna try to do it. 
let me know is if something is is going on nice we have oh, we have about no five minutes no four minutes four minutes there we go and let's join here Ah. Mm -hmm. mm, no. Sí, aquí están, aquí están en el chat. Está what did you do for vacation? Las puedes compartir. Sí. Sí, sí. Por ahorita. 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 I'm sorry. Ya las compartió la tichera. Oh, no, me encontraron. <laughs> sí, es que las no, tenía más a la mano. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're Thank welcome. You. <laughs> okay, guys, next practice. <laughs> I want to hear you all talking. We have about... Five minutes, four or five minutes to do it. So please. Hello. Hello. How are you? I am okay. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. What did okay. you do for vacation? Uh, I I stay in home. <laughs> I go go up. I went to to play to play with um with my friends for two years <laughs> and I am work um around the place. What place did you visit in Africa? Place? Yeah. In Ataco City? Uh, ah. I don't know. Um, um, in the park. <laughs> I went to a park. Oh, nice. Really? Okay. Um, Jessica Jimenez, what was your favorite part about your vacation? Park. Yes. What did you, what is the part favorite of your vacation? Uh, um, I don't know. Um, enjoy the enjoy the okay? <laughs> enjoy the the food. For example, I I drink at all. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and who did you go with? Who? Uh -huh. I went with my friends. Mm -hmm.
Yes. Uh, now you finish for the practice. Hey, nice to meet you, uh, Eric. Hey, nice to meet you, Eric. Nice to meet you. Uh, see you. See you in the class. See you next time. O sea que ya terminamos por acá. Uh, yes, teacher. But uh, in the recorder, say. Yes, teacher. Oh, yes. nice. <laughs> wow, you were really fast. Just on time, guys. Nice. Wow. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you, Zee. <laughs> Okay, in a few minutes, we're going to be to the main session. So just uh, wait some sex. Uh, just a few sex. Okay. I'm going to go okay. to see another group. Okay. Sí. Yes. Oh, Very tres. dangerous. Yeah. Ah, and bye. But Hello. Hello. Hi. We the end now. No. Yo pensé que habíamos terminado ya no está. Okay. Bye. <laughs> bueno. Bye. <laughs> Okay, guys, welcome back. Some of you were already saying goodbye when I was getting into your groups. <laughs> but it was we're really nice again. to see you. Oh, what did you say, Amita? <laughs> Can you repeat that, please? We are here again. <laughs> yes, we're here again. We're here again. It was very fantastic to talk with my a partner nice i just love it with, and with evelyn with evelyn liliana and marjorie they they are very fantastic we yes. are the best no <laughs> just kidding <laughs> oh this group is the best <laughs> we have to say it <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> oh i know <laughs> But yes, this group is the best. You are the best, guys. So now, here we have our surprise or the next activity. Now, this is like a wheel of names. So here are all of our names. And I don't know if I... I think I put Lily twice. Can you see it? Lily. And then I put here Evelyn. <laughs> Oops. Yes. <laughs> yes, I can delete this. <laughs> okay, guys. So we're gonna oh Maria Jose. I, I didn't I didn't write your name, isn't it? Yeah, oh. I'm not on the list. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, there you go. Now, if you don't have your, or if you can't see your name here, please raise your hand. As Maria Jose did before. <laughs> we have Amilcar, Lily, Elizabeth, Roberto, Roberto Díaz, Marjorie, Olga, Azucena, Verónica, Anthony, Aileen, Carla, Dina, Eric, Diego, Miguel, Saraí, Jessica, María Azucena, and María José. So, Gladys. Oh, I'm so sorry, Gladys. Thank you for letting me know. Gladys, there you go. Okay, guys, so we have here all of your names, and this is going to be randomly. The wheel is going to choose you just to share a little bit of your vacation, so be prepared. Ah. 
Let's see who's the lucky one. Eileen, Eileen, are you there? Yes. Awesome. Eileen, sure. can you share with us a little bit of your vacation, your routine? Yes, of course. Nice. Thank you. In my, <laughs> in my last vacation, um, only I went to the park with my daughter and my mom. And the other days I stay at home with my family. Nice. Oh, that's fine. Thank you for sharing. That's really nice because I did it too. <laughs> Let's see. Let's try to find another volunteer. Or 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 do we have a volunteer? Romulo. Uh, I think I grow. I can see my, my name in, in the in the circle. <gasps> Yes, thank you, Romulo. I was about to write it, I, I swear. <laughs> I remember having that in my mind and then I just forgot it. Romulo, there you go. Thank you, Romulo. Now okay. let's see the second participant. Oh, who will be the next? Roberto Diaz. Do we have here Roberto Diaz? Or, oh, oh no. I think that probably I, I just got confused with the last name, isn't it? <laughs> Let's see. It is not Roberto Diaz. It is Roberto Garcia. Oh, I'm so sorry, Roberto Garcia. Are you there? Yes, I'm here, teacher. Oh, thank you. Can you share a little bit about your routine or your vacation? ¿Puedes compartir un poquito sobre lo que hiciste en vacaciones? Ah, ok, teacher. Nice. Yes, why not? Let's go ahead. Um, I, I, don't, I don't go out. I stay in my house with my family. Eh, I, I play soccer with my brothers mm, that's it oh that's nice thank you roberto yes most of, most of us didn't go out during this vacation but we could do a lot of fun things inside like you did you were playing with your brother aren't you yes Nice. That's great. Very yes. good. Okay, let's see the next participant. I think that this might be the last one. Unless you, you guys would like to, to keep going and keep practicing. <gasps> Lily, you are the chosen one. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm um, share my experience in the vacation. Okay, first day, I was staying in my house. And the last Tuesday, it's the same. And to be honest, only to visit the um, Cuscatlan Park in San Salvador with my friends. And... And the, let me see, oh, sorry, <laughs> it's my, my, my chicken, okay, and um, let me see, in, in, in the last Sunday, I visit my, I visit my friends in this, in her house, and I ate pupusas in the, in the morning 
in the in the dinner I ate tamales. And that's it. Wow. Yes, I love it. Those were a lot of details. I just love it. Thank you so much for sharing. Okay, thank you for this opportunity. Oh, no, thank you. Your kitchen were like a little bit noisy, but it sounds like you were, well, you, you are going to have a nice dinner, a nice supper, probably after this. <laughs> Great. Okay. Now, let's just start with the volunteers. Please, there is there, well, let's just start with the chosen ones. Now, if you want to be a volunteer, please raise your hand if you would like to share about your vacations. Me, teacher. Nice. Thank you, Veronica. Please go ahead. Uh, I was in my vacation. Uh, I've been reading part of my register, planning my choir student class, and what, watching a movie, and worked out, and that's it. Great! What, what movie did you watch? Yes? What movie did you watch? ¿Qué, ¿Qué película viste? Um, en futuro. Ah, ¿es de casualidad la de volver al futuro? Yes. Yes. Back to future. Yes, I think that's, that might be the, 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 its name. <laughs> Thank you, Amilcar. <laughs> Okay. I, I believe, I believe, I don't know, I believe. Yes, yes, because I was thinking some of the movies have a different name in their translation to Spanish. So sometimes, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm not really sure if those are the, their original names. But thank you, Amilcar, that's a good translation. Only, only, only I'm trying to, to, to speak English. <laughs> nice, practice. This practice is the key of everything, the key of okay. success. So now, Elizabeth, you were raising your hand. Please share with the class. Okay, okay, excuse me. <laughs> oh, no, don't worry, Amirka. Okay. <laughs> Please, Elizabeth, okay. go ahead. Um, in, in, my, in my vacation, we celebrate my eldest daughter's birthday and with my family and other friends. And at the end of the day, my daughter and my boyfriend and me went to dinner in Huayua and, and spent two all the next day. And um, the same. Wow. Those were so, so good vacations. They were so much good. Wow. I'm glad. I'm With glad you enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, actually, that was one of the of the of the questions. Can you see it here? Did you go with your family, friends, wife, boyfriend? So, yep. Me, teacher. Well done. Oh, let's see. Who's the next one? Olga. Is it you? Oh, okay. Me, teacher. Oh, Evelyn, please go ahead. Okay. Uh, I visited the Zacatecoluca city. I went to the beach. Uh, in the beach, the weather was very hot. <laughs> and I went to the beach with my family, for example, with my husband, with my son, and in the, um, I ate the fish with rice and salad, and I was very, very nice. Only that. Awesome. Thank you, Evelyn. That was great. Okay, everybody. Now let's start with the next activity. 
Let's see. You you have been doing it great. Now, oh, because we're going to get into the platform, I would like to take an advantage of it and asking you, guys, uh, do you have any question about the platform or something like that? Something, something related? Questions, doubts, issues, problems? Oh, I'm here. <laughs> I finished teaching the platform. <gasps> nice, Marjorie. Well done. So if everybody is doing great with the platform, let's get going. <laughs> Just for practicing. So here we are in question of, of choice. This is, this is a little, a very short video. It is just 38 minutes long. <laughs> 38 minutes. Yes, 38. Oh, 38 seconds. Oh, thank seconds. you, Mirka. Yes, seconds. seconds. <laughs> so, uh, the idea is we are just gonna hear it. Let's listen. And after that, we're gonna try to repeat it. Because we have like some variations when we are asking questions. And that happens in Spanish. ¿Cómo estás? I need to change my pronunciation just to just to say that I'm asking a question and the other person knows that I'm trying to ask, ask something. So now the thing that we're going to do is just to see the pronunciation in questions. Now let's listen everybody. We're going to repeat this video twice and then we need to practice. After that, we're going to try to say it out loud. So if you want to take a picture of it, don't worry, just take it uh, just to see how are the variations in the intonation when you are asking a question. So now let's keep going. There you go. Oh, oh, I didn't, I didn't put it from the beginning, sorry. And let's see, just give me a sec. Listen to the intonation. Now is it working? I guess. Hi, in this class, we'll practice our pronunciation. Listen to the intonation of questions of choice. Repeat the questions along the audio program. Pronunciation. Questions of choice. Listen to the intonation in questions of choice. Then practice the questions in part A of exercise three again. Which city is bigger, Bangkok or Beirut? Which country is the most interesting, Korea, Brazil, or Greece? So now let's listen again. Uh, let's see. There you go. Hi, in this class we'll practice our pronunciation. Listen to the intonation of questions of choice. Repeat the questions along the audio program. Pronunciation. Questions of choice. Listen to the intonation in questions of choice. Then practice the questions in part A of exercise three again. Which city is bigger, Bangkok or Beirut? Which country is the most interesting, Korea, Brazil, or Greece? Now we have it. And we have here the intonation. If, we, if you want to take a photo of it, you can do it now. Which city is bigger? Listen, which city is bigger? Bigger. Which yes, city? bigger. It's like a period, but it's not because it's, it's just a colon. Then we have Bangkok. 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 
Yes, Bangkok. Bangkok. Or Beirut. 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 Nice. Beirut. So try to remember the intonation because we have three things in which we are trying to make a comparison, isn't it? And then we have, which country is the most interesting? Interesting. Interesting. Korea. 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 Nice. Korea. Brazil. 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 Or Greece. Or Greece. Greece. Good Greece. job, everybody. Greece. Now, Greece. without taking into account the intonation, we have the same sentences here. Can you see it? Now, try to say it without looking how the intonation is. Just try to remember which city is bigger. Bigger. City is bigger. Bigger, nice. Bangkok. 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 Or Bangkok. Beirut. 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 Nice. Good job, everybody. Which country is the most interesting? Interesting. 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 Nice. Korea. 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 Nice. Who did that? Korea. 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 Brazil. Or Brazil. Or Greece. Great, good job, everybody. Wow, you're awesome. Yes, interesting. Thank you. You're welcome. Korea, Brazil, Korea. Or Brazil. Greece. Brazil or Greece. Good job, everybody. I can see some of you doing this same thing. I just love it. Good way for practicing. So now, if this was just relax. Now, we're going to try to use comparisons and superlatives. Do you remember that? Let's see. Yes. Thank you, everybody. Yes. So now, we're going to try to make comparisons between the previous vacation with other vacations in the past. So if you want to do like, for example, this last vacation, uh, it, it was better than the 2020s because we were in quarantine. <laughs> so yes, you can take the last one from the last year in account. And then we can also use superlative to describe our last vacation. Like for example, my last vacation was the best. Do you remember that? The best. And just to clarify, I'm gonna give you a link on the chat here. Please let me if you let me know if you have an issue with the link because the idea is to get into this document. All of you must have access oh my God. to this document. Yes, it's a little bit long, <laughs> but the idea is that also you at home can have these adjectives in their comparative way and also its superlative way. I can see some of you getting into the document. Nice, thank you guys. So here we have a lot of adjectives. The idea is you need to do at least two sentences, two comparative no. sentences and two superlative sentences. Two comparative and two superlative. Algunos de nosotros se acuerdan un poquito de los comparatives? 
Yes, yes. Nice. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yes, for example, when we are doing a comparison, it is between two things. Two place. Uh, two things, two, two, two place, two person. And the superlative is two or more. Yes, two or more things. Thank you. Yes. So, if you would like to do a comparison between, oh, let me see, vacation, it's okay. But also you can say, well, last vacation I went to the mountain. I went to what? Cerro Verde. I don't know. <laughs> well, I went to Cerro Verde. And now I, well, this last vacation, I just went to Lago, Lago de Cuatepeque, Cuatepeque Lake. So I would like to do a comparison between those places. And I will say that probably uh, Cuatepeque Lake was, uh, let's see, what can I say about Cuatepeque Lake? What is it's bigger than Ilopango Lake? Oh, that's nice. Great. That's that's a good that's a good example. Really? Yes. But yes. I don't know if 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 is bigger or is is smaller. Smaller. Yeah. Um. I I actually don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I don't know. Is, Being is, honest, <laughs> is the Pega Lake is bigger or is smaller than uh, Ilopango Lake? Well, both are lakes, but I I don't know uh, what is their exactly size. But we should do that. That's that's a good yes. question. I, yes. I don't know. <laughs> yes, also I can say if I'm trying to do a comparison between Cerro Verde and Cuatepeque Lake, I can say, well, uh, Cuatepeque Lake was cleaner than Cerro Verde. I haven't, I haven't gone to any of, them, of those. I, I haven't gone to any of those. But uh, that, this is just an example. Probably Cuatepeque Lake was cleaner. I don't know. But when we are trying to do a sentence, trying to make a comparison, we need to use the word than. For example, Cuatepeque Lake was cleaner than Cerro Verde. An example. But what about if I say Cuatepeque Lake was the cleanest lake in the whole El Salvador? It is because I went to Ilopango Lake, as Amilcar was saying, I went to all, all the lakes here in El Salvador, and I realized that Cuatepeque Lake was the cleanest, the cleanest. It is because it is the winner of everybody. I'm talking about lakes. So guys, do we understand? What do we need to do in the following five minutes? Yes, this is okay. Yes? Okay, let's see. Does anybody have a question about this following activity? Take it like a, a yes. Does everybody know? What are, we, what are we supposed to do? So now in the same groups, we're gonna be trying to write. What are we supposed to be with groups? Because if you have a question, your partners can help you. Or if you want to have an idea about something, your partners can help you. So what are we supposed to do? Two sentences doing with comparisons and two sentences with superlatives. In total are four sentences at least. So guys, I will see you on the room. Good luck. Oh, I have 
son unassigned people. Let's see. Hi, Evelyn. I'm gonna put you in room number four. What about Ailey? Ailey, you're gonna be room number six. Gladys, I think you might go to room number five. Let's try. And Roberto, vamos a ver, Roberto. Let's try with room number one. Now let's see, Azucena, Ailey, Roberto. Are you having some connection problems? If so, just let me know. Roberto, are you there? Ailey. Ailey, are you there? Diego. Let's see. Ailey. Tell me, are you there? Are you having a problem or some issues with your connection? Ailey. Earth is talking to Ailey. Diego, are you back? Diego, what's going on? <laughs> Other sports. Okay. Mm, Who next? Who next? Me repite, por Okay. I like to make a sport. Then running for mm. me is the best sport. Okay. Mm. That that that's it. Mm. No, no, I don't know. I don't know. Roberto, do you have a sentence? I think Roberto were having a bad connection, guys. Uh -huh. Hi, guys. Eso pasa, Roberto. Trata de mantener tu cámara apagada porque eso ayuda bastante para que tu voz se escuche clara y tus compañeros puedan oírte. Eso me ha pasado muchísimas veces y créeme que me ha salvado la vida. Sí, porque tengo mala conexión. See, that happens. Teacher. Teacher. Yes, Romulo? Uh, I, I would like to know if we had to talk about the vacation using superlative and, and comparative, or we have to talk about whatever we want. I don't, I don't, I don't know how, how to do that. I, I'm not sure. Okay, what thank you for do. asking. Thank you for asking, Romilo. Well, uh, they were supposed 
to talk about our vacation. At least we need to do two comparative sentences and two superlative sentences about our vacations. Eh, tenemos, right. sí, solo de vacación, okay. pero si quieres mencionar algo más, no hay ningún problema. Pero por lo menos, okay. mínimo, dos oraciones usando comparatives y dos oraciones usando superlatives. Eh, de casualidad, eh, tú tienes, tú pudiste acceder al documento que les mandé. Yes, yes, I have it. Excellent. Okay, using those adjectives, try to do four sentences. Two comparative okay. and two superlatives. Okay. Is it clear? Okay, thank you. Okay, guys, I'm going to move to another group. Keep going. Okay. Hi, guys, how is it going? I can't hear anything. What's going on? Hi, teacher. Creo que Eric está, está una llamada del trabajo, por eso estaba esperando. Oh, that's why. Right. Thank you, Eric. Well, oh, I haven't noticed that I, I just put two edits here. <laughs> well, you have the <laughs> same name, guys. <laughs> yes, I'm going to try yes. to move somebody else to here, probably. Oh, no, they are already talking. Okay, well, Eric, Enrique, <laughs> if you would like Thank to, you. we can try to practice together. What do okay, you think? Teacher. Awesome. Please share with me. Uh, what we're supposed to do is two sentences using comparatives and two sentences using superlatives. Also about our vacations, if you can do it. If not, you can use another kind of topic that you would like to use. Okay, teacher. Eh, I had a sentence, pero no, no está relacionado a las vacaciones, ¿verdad? pero sí la había, la había formulado así, por ejemplo, por ejemplo, eh, el sabor es smaller than Mexico, but the food is very delicious. Great, great. That's, that's, how can I say it? That's marvelous. <laughs> Nice, yes, it, it's a good comparison. If you want to write it down on your notebook, it will be great because then you will remember it in the future if you would like to use it. Okay, teacher, la, la voy a escribir. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, what can I say about my vacations? Well, I can say my, my vacations in 2020 were better than my last vacation <laughs> last week. So yeah, I can say that my, my 2020 vacations were better. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> <laughs> yes, teacher. Yes. How about you, Eric? Do you have another sentence? You can use superlatives or also comparatives. Comparatives. Um. No, teacher, ya no formule otra. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Let's try using superlatives. Like, for example, try to remember about a vacation in a specific year. Like, for example, uh, 2015. And you can say, well, my vacations in 2015 were the craziest vacation so far. <laughs> that can be a possibility. <laughs> okay, teacher. Es que, uh, le soy sincero, yo estoy pensando, teacher. Casi no le, casi me cuesta formular oraciones. Yes, that used to happen at the beginning. I'm still having the same problem, but uh, practicing will help you a lot. <laughs> okay, teacher. Voy a practicar más. <laughs> nice. Thank you, Eric. Uh, so, let's see. I'm going to try to move to another because it's nine o'clock already so i'm gonna try to move to another room at least before going to the main session so 
Uh, I'm going to see you in a few minutes. Okay. Okay. Keep practicing. Try to create some, some sentences in your mind or in your notebook. Okay. This nice. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> and uh, another superlative. Well, um, my superlatives are last vacation was the calmest of my life. <laughs> and <laughs> the other is last vacation was the most expensive. expensive. Why? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like everything is more expensive than other years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's real. Yeah, and my comparatives are less vacations feel faster than 2019's vacation and close all rooms. Okay, we're back. Let's see. Nice. How was the practice? Nice teacher. Great, Romulo. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. Yes, some of you were talking a, about a lot of things. I was really impressed. Some of you were talking about an expensive vacation and I was like, what? Please invite me. <laughs> okay, guys, now, <laughs> some of you would like to be a volunteer? Now we're taking volunteers. <laughs> About your sentences. Some of you were saying a lot of good things. Or let's see, should I go to the wheel of names? <laughs> Teacher, yo tengo what? dudas. Por favor, hazmelas, Lily. Este, estábamos hablando con los compañeros eh, y tengo duda con, con el superlativo. Uh -huh. eh, que me estaba diciendo una compañera que siempre lleva el Dan. Ah, ok. Let's make a clarification. Thank you for the question, Lily. Lo voy a decir en español para que ya se nos vaya quedando también, porque sí, lleva una diferencia. Por ejemplo, cuando tenemos el comparative, and I'm going to share my screen to show you better. Let's see. Here is it. Ok. Cuando tenemos el comparativo, se fijan de que al final, por ejemplo, long, nosotros lo convertimos en longer. Le agregamos ER. Y cuando estamos en comparativo, al principio, bueno, no. Después del adjetivo, vamos a escribir dan. Este dan, dan sí. Uh -huh. Porque en español vendría siendo lar más largo que. Longer ¿Qué? significa uh -huh. más largo. Entonces, cuando tenemos dan, significa más largo que. Por ejemplo, lo que estábamos hablando de qué. Ah, ¿qué, pod ¿Qué podríamos utilizar con long? Ay, no sé, no se me ocurre nada. Por ejemplo, uh, my the computers, river. the river. That's a nice, exam nice example. I was thinking about my computer charger because it's the only thing that I have here. <laughs> well, a river, yes. A, uh, we can say that uh, el río Lempa, Lempa River, 
is longer than uh, sorry guys um, I, I don't have any idea what what other river uh, Guajoyo river can you say it again, Romulo? Guajoyo, Guajoyo Gua River. Guajoyo? Guajoyo. Wow, that's a new one. Thank you. <laughs> okay, we can say that R Lempa River is longer than Guajoyo River. So in Spanish, that will be El Rio Lempa es más es largo. Más grande. Oh, más grande. Muy bien, Dina. Más largo que. Por eso usamos el dan. Eso yeah. es lo que significa mm -hmm. el dan aquí. Longer than. So, cuando tenemos un comparativo, usamos el dan. Luego, en superlatives, no usamos el dan. Porque no estamos haciendo oh, una comparación. Yeah. Porque, por ejemplo, tomando el caso de Lempa River. Nosotros podemos decir, the Lempa River is the longest river in the whole El Salvador. El río Lempa es el más largo. Más largo. Sí, el más largo de todo El Salvador. Oh. ¿Ven la diferencia? O sea que el, el río Lempa sobrepasa en gran manera a todos los otros ríos. Todos los ríos. Exacto, uh -huh. Dina. Entonces, Salvador. exacto, del Salvador. Entonces, ¿ven esa pequeña diferencia? Hace una gran diferencia yes. cuando estamos hablando en inglés. Nosotros solo que en español no nos damos cuenta cuando lo decimos. Sin embargo, aquí lo tenemos. Entonces, teacher, ¿Sí, en superlativo ¿sí? no iría el dan. No, no porque no, no estamos haciendo comparación, entonces comparación. Uh -huh. no se puede. Gracias por la pregunta. Tengo una duda. Excelente, Thank Marjorie. You. Tell me. Tengo una duda. Oh, y cuando sé cuándo cuando no, sé cómo sé cuándo agregarle el more al comparative eso o, o superlative gracias por la pregunta eso es cuando el, el comparative es muy grande qué les parece si eso lo vamos a ver mañana por cuestiones de tiempo pero de hecho sí, eh, me gusta esa pregunta. Por ejemplo, acá tenemos adjectives que son muy pequeños. Entonces es fácil agregarle younger, older, shorter, lower, cheaper, etc. But what about expensive? Oh, that's the word. Some of you were using it. Expensive. I can't say expensive. Porque la palabra es muy grande, expensive. ¿Ven? Si lo escribimos. Three syllabas. Sí, expensive. Yes, three syllables expensive. or more. We need to use more. For example, here we would use more expensive. Nosotros utilizaríamos más caro. O más costoso. Caro. Sí, caro, costoso, lo que ustedes quieran con lo que se sientan más cómodos. Beautiful, too. Sí, beautiful. That's another example. More beautiful. Excellent. And with the superlatives, this is something that we are going to study tomorrow. <laughs> it is must. The most expensive vacation in my life. La, la vacación más eh, costosa de toda mi vida fue la vacación de la semana pasada ahí está the most expensive ven la diferencia Why? more expensive most expensive the most expensive why because probably why, why? you were you were staying in I don't know you went to Cancun probably and that's why you needed to spend a lot of money because the fight tickets, the food. Also, you wanted to be in a good hotel. So, yes, probably with all of those uh, expenses, you were having the most expensive vacation of your life. So, guys, do we have a question about this? 
Another question, because also we can cover that tomorrow. So that will be good if you let me know now. Okay. Okay, guys. If it is not the case, so I'm going to let you go and take supper. Ir a tomar nuestra cena para los que todavía no la hemos tomado. Or just go to sleep. <laughs> So guys, thank you for joining okay. us today. I will see you watching tomorrow. TV. <laughs> thank yes, you, teacher. Thank TV. you. See you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye, Bye, teacher. Good night. Bye. 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 Good night. 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 Good dreams. Good night, everybody. Bye. Good night, everybody. Take care. Bye.